you are far, so, so far from, from where you want to be. You don't know anything about yourself, the way you walk, the way you talk, everything you are is the opposite of who you want to be. You look at your bank account and you feel sick every time you reflect on yourself and your life. The same results are found, the same thing, no accomplishments, achievements, no future aspirations. This harsh reality sends you into a cycle where you hate yourself, you never improve, never work on yourself, never work your way up the hierarchy and reach self-actualization and never become one with yourself. This is a jail cell that can only be escaped when you take time, the time, the care and the patience to start loving yourself. If there are things in your life that you know are not good for you, but you do them anyway, every fibre in your body knows that they're bad, but you do them anyway, they destroy your health, your finances and your future life, but you continue to do them, even though you're fully aware that they're bad and they will have no positive return, no matter how much you try to find one, there's no way that you fully love yourself. If you have a child, a dog or a cat, would you give it alcohol or drugs? Now, unless you're insane, you probably wouldn't and, and, and you shouldn't because you care about them and you love them. So why do we go out and do the opposite to ourselves? Care about these things but don't look after ourselves. Don't you deserve the same treatment? The things we truly care about we tend to look after and don't put in danger or harm's way. So why not give yourself that reality? We drink alcohol every night which harms our body. We work a job we hate and ruins our mental health. And stay in bed till noon even though we know that we can't be successful by doing it. The reason we do this is because who we are at this present time it's not your ideal self and who you want to be. The way you are, the things you do, does not identify with who you want to be. You could be broke and not be able to live the life you want to live. Don't work on yourself so you don't look the way you want to look. But you want to be someone that has money, changes the lives of his friends and families, looks good, attracts great things with life, people, girls, opportunities. But that's not you. So you decide to harm yourself and never give yourself the opportunity to actually improve. But at the moment, you have none of that. So you do these bad habits and let them identify you. You know, you're not someone that smokes a few times, you're a smoker. You're not someone with no money at this moment in time, you're bankrupt or, or you're broke. It may seem like these words are insignificant, but they're very important in how you define yourself and how you love yourself. You have to erase these internal thoughts about yourself from your long-term memory. From a young age, you were told that you're the shy kid, so you struggled in job interviews, public speaking, talking to girls. So now you have no job, no, no YouTube channel, no bitch. This reality of not loving yourself drives you to be less productive and do the bad habits even more, which creates a negative cycle. You don't love yourself because you know who you want to be, but you do these habits to keep yourself from being that, so you're further and further from your ideal self each day. And that makes you hate yourself. Start loving yourself, you have to understand that nothing, nothing is real. What you've been told about who matters does not exist. Who deserves to be happy and who deserves the finer things in life? You've been lied to. Society has told you that looks, social media presence, the amount of friends you have, the things you do, are the things that require you to be happy. Frequently remind yourself that you're more powerful and capable than people tell you and the things you can do are unimaginable. In most cases, if someone else can do something and find success in it, so can you. The way you look, your height, your voice, everything. These negative messages have been created by society to keep those down who don't fit the societal standards. The standards of what acceptable is. So forget all that. Just accept yourself. Spend more time alone, away from that negativity away from society, away from those that judge you and tell you that you can't do something or you're not capable of doing it. When you're alone, the only acceptance you need is your own and you'll get that. No one will tell you not to do anything, not to make that video, not to go to the gym, not to work on yourself because there's no point. You know there's a point because now you know that you can do anything you want. If you truly believe you have what it takes, do you love yourself? And yeah, you might slip into bad habits again and slip up and, and make mistakes. But continue loving yourself and doing everything you can to make yourself better. Because you will take L's. But don't take L's in vain. If you want to love yourself like Justin Bieber. And finally do those things to become your ideal self. You should subscribe to my channel. At least someone trying to improve around here. And remember. If you ever have trouble getting laid. You can always smash. That like button.